welcome back to my channel today I'm in my bathroom because I thought that I would show you my morning skincare routine so yes I'm a little bit extra with my skincare my motto is that your makeup will look amazing if your skin is being looked after and cleaned properly and all that kind of stuff so let's just get straight into the video I'm going to start off with showing you basically what products I use for each section and then I'm actually going to do it as well so let's get straight into it so with the cleansing type of thing because it's morning time I don't need to be taking off any makeup or anything like that so give this video a thumbs up if um, you want to see my nighttime skincare routine with removing makeup so I have a few different choices when it comes to cleansers in the morning um, just because I am extra <laughs> So I have four to choose from and it's really just a day by day thing as to how I feel my skin is actually going as well. So uh, the first thing that I have got here, my camera is going to pick it up. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So this is a moisturizing and foaming cleanser. I actually really like this. I prefer to use this out of the shower rather than in the shower because I find if there's too much wetness or moisture and stuff like that in the shower this doesn't tend to foam up really well so I use this out of the shower and then I have the Etude House um, baking powder pore cleansing foam so this is really really nice it's really it's got kind of a little bit of a gritty texture but um, I think that it works really really well I love how clean my skin feels after using this and then if I've sort of got no issues with my skin that morning, um, something really nice and gentle is the Asano uh, Rose Hip Cleanser. So this is a gentle foaming cleanser. I don't really find that this foams up very much. It's really quite a um, gel type consistency. So yeah, that's really nice if I've got no issues. And if I feel that my skin is quite congested, it needs a really thorough clean, I go in with my Clara Reset Instant New Skin. This is really, really good. It um, really helps retexturize the skin. So I only use this like once or twice a week. Okay, so this morning I think that I am going to use uh, the Etude House Baking Powder Pore Cleansing Foam. I have, obviously, this is not being filmed first thing in the morning. I have been up to school with my kids and I have ridden my bike home with them, as, or ridden my bike to school and then ridden home with them. Um, no, they didn't come home with me. I rode home on my own. So I have sunscreen on my face, so I want to give it a really nice thorough cleanse. So usually when I go to clean my face, I wet my hands a little bit just to give my skin a bit of moisture. And that's about how much I use. So a nice good squeeze. And then I just massage it into my face. And this smells really nice and sort of got a slightly lemony sort of scent. It's really, really nice, and it's really nice and gentle. Um, yeah, I feel like this is quite moisturizing as well. And to wipe that off, I use like a little chamois that's from the body shop, and this is really nice and gentle on the skin, and I can just wipe off all that product, and then I can just rinse it out and wipe off the rest. And then I just use a clean cloth just to take out any of the extra moisture off my skin. Right, so the next thing I do is another sort of cleansing type step. And I use the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix um, Daily Cleansing Pad. So this is a retexturizing type of product. It's like a chemical exfoliant. Um, and they're just a little pad and they have got the product already like soaked into them. And I just concentrate this sort of around that T-zone area um, just to really help retexturize the pores and stuff like that. And then I'll just do a general wipe over the rest of my face. I don't go too up close to the eye area at all. And then I use some of the Simple Kind to Skin um, Soothing Facial Toner. And I've been using these um, extra, these are the large Swispers. Um, cotton pads, I found that they're really, really awesome. So I just give that a wipe over my skin. And depending on how my skin is feeling as well, is whether I'll add in an extra step here. Um, and it's really just a, 
a nice sort of um, oh, it's cooling step, I guess you'd call it. But I've been spraying on a little bit of the rose hip um, mist toner, and this is just so nice. smells beautiful and it just makes my skin feel really awake and just adds a little bit extra hydration to it. Right now, onto the skincare. In the mornings, I use the Swiss Argan Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This is really quite thick and I find that it's really good, especially if I'm gonna be popping makeup on, um, that it sort of really hydrates that under eye area and my um, concealer doesn't crease or um, sort of go dry or dehydrated sort of looking. So I just pat that underneath my eyes with my ring fingers. And if there's a little bit extra, I just let it sink into my skin because I'm putting on a serum now. So I've been using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Perfecting Ultra Hydrating Serum. Oh. And I have just started adding in a bit of the Ordinary The Buffet. So just using this every second day. So I put a little bit of this on earlier this morning before I went to school. So I'm going to use the Palmer's one now. Now this one has got um, retinol in it. So just make sure that you are using an SPF during the day or a product that's got a high SPF in it because when you're using retinol, um, it tends to um, make your skin a lot easier to burn. So I do just pop that serum sort of around my face. I don't go under the eye area at all because I've got that um, eye cream sinking in. So I just sort of rub it in and then I start to pat and then I go up underneath my eyes and pat in the rest of that eye cream as well. I really find pressing and patting the products into my skin that really helps. And then I pop on some moisturizer. So the moisturizer I use is the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturizing Day Cream. This is for normal and combination skin. This has got an SPF 30 in it, so I find that that is enough for me. Although if I am going out and exercising outside, I will pop on a specific SPF as well. And I usually use a facial type of one. Um, I like the Woolworths branded one. And I also really like the Mecca Cosmetica one. It is an SPS, SPS, an SPF 50. Um, so I use that if I'm like at the beach or something like that, or at the park for the day, that kind of thing, because it adds a little bit of extra protection. So same thing as I just rub that all over my face and then I go in and press it into my skin. And just bring it down my neck as well. And the last step is putting a little bit of moisturizer onto my lips and I'm using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I usually just use this at night time, but I have been using it um, during the day as well because I have been sick and I find that my whole, my, all my skin is just so dehydrated. That is it, that is my morning skincare routine. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and let me know if you wanna see my nighttime skincare routine. Um, I will just put a little bit of a disclaimer out there. I'm not a professional when it comes to skincare. I just seem to know, and I've used a lot of different products. I know it works for my skin, which is normal to combinations. So I do get a little bit slightly oily as well. So, and that's just me and my skin. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.